Laughlin, Nevada is an RV traveler's dream. So there are so many great places to park your RV and a lot of them are free. Let me walk you through them. As you pull into town, you are greeted by the Riverside Casino and they have two options for parking. The first option is in the casino parking lot. They have lots of spaces that kind of line the fence along the strip and then some parking in the back. It is completely free to park. Be sure to go inside and sign up for your player's card because you're going to need to show that at the security desk to park. Make sure that you do show them some love and go in there and play a couple games, get something to eat. They have bowling, they have movies, they have nightclubs, they have everything. So seriously, you are going to have a good time in the casino anyway. And it is just a few steps to the casino door. Um, the non-smoking casino is the first casino that is closest um, to this RV parking. And they have food in there as well. So um, it's very convenient. And the river walk is just right there in front of us. So you can get a little exercise or just take a little stroll along the river if you want to. It's a very convenient location. And then directly across the street is the Riverside Casino RV Park. The RV Park has 740 spaces, both pull through and back in. They have 30 and 50 amp parking spaces. They have shuttles to and from the casino. They have little bus stops. You just call a number even and they will come pick you up. It is super convenient. The bathrooms, the laundry, and the showers have all been recently renovated and are very nice. Um, they have like granite and marble countertops. Seriously, they're like some of the nicest RV park bathrooms. They all have concrete pads. So it's not super, super dirty. It starts at $40 a day. Um, and then also $169 for a week. I mean, that is a smoking deal. You also get access to the South Tower Pool, which has been newly renovated, and access to the North Tower Family Pool. So if you were coming with your kids or grandkids, or there's a bunch of you, um, you can check out that family pool. But if you want to have a little, um, quiet time, maybe a little cocktail by the pool, then that South Tower, um, which is brand new right there by the river, is the one to check out. And like I said, this is directly across the street from the casino. So totally within walking distance, but there is a shuttle, of course, so you can utilize that as well. And then right next door to that is the Tropicana. This is a Caesars property, and they do charge for the parking, it is not a lot. It is $15 a night, $75 for 75 nights. And then there is a dump station, the only casino that does have a dump station. And the fee for that is $10. Um, you can check in at the front desk. And all of the RV parking is like back behind the parking garage. Um, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's just a parking lot, but within, you know, close walking distance to the casino, it is nice that they do have a dump station and a water fill station. So you can utilize that. Um, they also offer free nights. So if you earn 300 credits, you get one night or 1500 tier credits, you get seven nights for free. So that's kind of a, a cool option that some of the other casinos are not offering. Um, but yeah, this is such a great luxury to be able to have the dump station. Seriously. Um, they're hard to come by, believe it or not. And then we have the Golden Nugget. We have stayed quite a few nights at the Golden Nugget. We like this. It is a smaller parking lot. It is directly across the street from the casino. So you have to cross the actual um, street. Um, it is free. You check in at the front desk. It's small, but it's quiet. Um, it is very nice. We really enjoy staying here. This is one of the places that... Um, we usually pick if we are not going to plug in to the RV park, then we come over here to the Golden Nugget because we do like to play at the Golden Nugget. Lots of great Landry's restaurants to choose from. The casino is very nice. Everybody's very friendly. We really enjoy it. And then directly next door is the good old Pioneer. Now, the Pioneer has recently started 
with a new policy that you can't have anything that is 20 years or older. So it must be a 2004 or newer at the time of recording this video, which is kind of funny because it is the oldest and dumpiest casino on the strip. And um, yeah, they're the only ones with an actual age limit for their RV parking. Some of these, if you cruise through, you can clearly tell they're older than that, but they must not ask for proof. Um, but yeah, in particular, this little class C RV right there, the little black and white dude or the camper shell is clearly older than 20 years, but who am I to say anything? It is in the motel parking lot. And, um, yeah, if you really favor the, uh, pioneer, maybe this is the spot for you, but um, if you've watched any of our other videos on Laughlin, you know that we are not huge fans. And especially after making that rule, we are definitely not fans. Um, it is clearly not enforced and I'm not quite sure why they did that. Um, but yeah, anyway, if this is, you love the pioneer, they also offer, um, free parking if you have a newer RV. So there's that option for you. This is all I have on the RV parking at the casinos. There are a couple of campgrounds off strip and a KOA that is down farther at the RV. If you want a review or tour of those, comment down below and I would love to do that for you. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. Lots of exciting RV lifestyle content coming your way every Wednesday. And um, enjoy the river and I will see you on the next one.